Organising content online with tags. Over the last decade, much of the information formerly stored in physical formats has been converted to digital information and stored online. Such physical information that has now been digitised includes newspapers, magazines, music, photographs, books, and even videos. As more and more information is stored online, it becomes more and more important that the information can be easily retrieved as needed. The process used to organize online information is called tagging. Tagging is simply adding descriptive words to information such as pictures, articles, videos, or sound files. When an individual tags their online content, it enables that user to retrieve and organize their own online information. Although each individual chooses their own tags or descriptive words, the tagging of all the information on the web becomes collaborative due to the volume of tags being assigned constantly. Over time, some tags will be used more than others. Commonly used tags serve as links between items that would otherwise not be related, such as a group of blog posts about President Obama, or a group of pictures on Flickr of the Golden Gate Bridge. Many websites support tagging, although sometimes a different name is used, such as labels for the Google applications like Blogger, Reader, and Gmail. You may have used tagging already when adding photos to your Facebook page. Tagging creates a totally different kind of organization of information called non-hierarchical. We're more accustomed to hierarchical organization, such as that used by the folder structure. When using a hierarchical system, such as folders, each item is only categorized once and is categorized according to the levels above it. For example, a picture may be found in the Pictures folder, and then in the 2010 folder, and then in the Summer Vacation folder. Hierarchical arrangements do not allow you to quickly find all the pictures of your sister taken in the last three years. To achieve that, you must search all your folders for those pictures. Tags, on the other hand, do allow that. If you add tags to your photos on your hard drive, you can just search for the name of your sister and all the photos with that tag will be displayed, regardless of the folder they're stored in. A hierarchical classification is known as a taxonomy. A non-hierarchical classification system is known as a folksonomy because it's created by a crowd of ordinary people rather than by experts. Folksonomies are shown by tag clouds. A tag cloud lists the most commonly used tags on a website and shows the most common in bigger font, such as filtering technology and free expression in this tag cloud, and shows less commonly used tags in a small font, such as data retention and exploits in this tag cloud. Here we have another tag cloud where Barack Obama is the most commonly used tag and transparently on transparency online is a less commonly used tag. Here we have daily news and media watch showing as commonly used tags. Technology is scary as a less commonly used tag. And finally, animation and game are the big ones, the most commonly used ones, Pokemon, Mario, less common. It's useful then to ta add tags to pictures even on your local hard drive to find additional ways to find photos. To tag your photos using Windows, you can use the information tab of the Windows Photo Gallery. To open the Windows Photo Gallery, just double-click on any photo. To search your photos using tags, you can go to the Gallery section and click on the desired tabs. For example, in my Pictures folder, I have a folder with the typical, not very easy to understand name of SD850 Miscellaneous San Jose. From the folder name, you'd never know that most of the pictures in the folder were taken in New York. By tagging the individual pictures in the folder, I can see which ones are of particular members of my family, which ones were taken in Central Park, which ones on the subway, etc. 
here you see the Central Park tag for pictures from that folder. Watch this short video clip to see tagging content on your own hard drive in action. Let me show you how to tag a couple of pictures using Windows Vista. If you're using a Mac or another version of Windows, I think you can just search for label photos or tag photos and find your instructions. So I'm going to double click on this one to open the Windows Photo Gallery. I've already activated the info tag, so I'm just going to click Add Tags. And you'll see a list of recently used tags comes up. This was taken in 2010. It was taken in Pioneer Park, and it's of my daughter Ingrid. So that's all I want to put on that photo, so I'll click to the next one. Here we have again 2010, again Pioneer Park. This is of my nephew and my sister. And again, 2010. Pioneer Park, my sister, and my niece. One more. This one's easy. I've got all of those before. So 2010, my sister, my niece, and Pioneer Park. See how easy that is? Good thing I know who these are. It's pretty small. There. Now if you want to look at by tag, you come to the gallery section. And let's look at what I've got tagged as 2010. Just a few of them, they're not all done yet. Let's look at... Here's a... A Connie tag that just gives me that one picture. This pic this gives me a second picture because the same woman is in both. Is the one of my daughter that I tagged. I tagged three with my grandson, and so you see how wonderfully that works. Here's an example of another folder I went to and tagged all of these. You wouldn't think from the folder name that most of them were taken in New York, would you? but many of them were. And if I come up here and click on the Central Park tag, there's the ones that were taken in Central Park. Here's the two of the duck, and here's one of a fire escape. And then if I come down to the New York tag, many of them come up. And now if I click on my sister's name, remember I tagged in the Pioneer Park, here's a mixture of the ones I just tagged in Pioneer Park, and once I tagged earlier of her in New York City. So you see how powerful tagging is. Some of these are in one folder, some of them are in another. Doesn't matter, the tag will bring them all up.